A little recon, see what Birch Creek looks like. Oh, we got water in Birch Creek. Boy, oh, I'm falling off the bridge. He ducked underneath the bridge. There's a troll underneath there, too. Well, howdy. Boys and I made a trip around Lake Somerville checking out the creeks to see if we got enough rain to bring the lake up. It's really low. Well, come on along. Let's take a look. The light colored one is a, they're both those. There's three of them. There's the one in the back. They're all three together now. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water. That's good. A wall's got water in it. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. On Nail Street. There's water. That ain't much, much. Wow, that ain't flowing. That ain't flowing. <laughs> much like usual, for whatever reason, this side doesn't get much water. Huh. Well, it takes a lot of water to bring this lake up, so that ain't helping. There's Cedar Creek, absolutely dry. Been dry for a year now. Something. Fish. Catfish. He does too. Where'd you get that at? Had a big catfish. Did I saw that, man. I got him on film. Oh, there's a skull. That's a deer, isn't it? Mm hmm. <laughs> Do young. Mm. I think it's a deer. Yeah, it's a deer. Got a massive ant hill up here. It's pretty cool. This is a. Yeah, these are ants. This is one big colony. I forget what kind of ants they are, but this all this mound. This is all one big colony. There's an ant right there. Yeah, there's some right here. See. We're making our own game trails. <laughs> oh, Eagle Eye Harry was first to find a shed right there where I found about a dozen of them. <laughs> All Austin could find was a snake skin. This old tree coming up here, big tree. We got a lot of history on this one. That is the biggest tree I know of in this area. It's a live oak tree, it's probably I don't know, 700 years old. Those are my kids. Those are my boys and my girl. That's my favorite picture. That one and the next one. This is my daughter and Harrison about four years ago. Uh, <laughs> we went out. This is the boys today. But this next picture coming up is my favorite picture I've ever taken. That says it all. That was a wonderful day. Oh, show me those two sheds you caught already. Caught. Yeah. All right. Good job. This is the best time to be out sneaking around. Just a little bit of rain. Animals typically move better. There's two young bucks over there. Oh yeah, 
that's a nice deer. Look at that shed. Good choice, Harry. That's a nice eight pointer. Hey, I finally got the opposite side. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so then, got the opposite yeah. size. Good deer. <laughs> cool. Then about five minutes later, Harrison finds the big one. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see the island out there. It's looking across the lake to Birch Creek. There's a bathroom up on that hill. You might, there might be a, well, it don't matter to those guys. <laughs> They're going through no matter what. <laughs> Watch them disappear. That's a pig hole. All right. You get through it already? All right. Hey, you found the right spot. Oh, heck yeah, that's a big trail. Fans. There's the duck tree down there. There's the duckhead tree. Last time I came down here when it was low, this was all beach. Right near the point. That was good. That was good navigating for you guys. There's those crappie things. Yotes. It took me a while, but I found that first shed up underneath them persimmon trees. And about a hundred yards away, I found a second one. All Austin can find was some sunglasses. But he can sure spot the live deer. That's a little buck. Yeah, there's two of them over there. The boys and I split up, and uh, they went up up the hill, and I went down around the edge, and they spooked out five deer. Uh, these three met up with uh, at least three more just on the other side of that tree. Look closely at this next frame. You see the one doe that walks out standing broadside. Well, down in the creek right, by, right in front of her is another deer standing looking at me. And then behind her, there's one that's just feeding and another one off to the left. All in all, I think there were six deer in that group. One of them was a buck, but I didn't get a good look at him. Man, as soon as I zoomed that thing out and took a step forward, they all hightailed it out of there. You can almost count the tails. You see them big white flags. There's five of them right there together and then one off to the left as they go out of sight. That was a fitting end to a good day. Me and the boys had a good time roaming around that peninsula looking for deer antlers. We did pretty good. We found six overall. Harry gave me all but the big one. That's all right. I got plenty. And more importantly, I got to spend time with my boys. 
Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye. Thank you.